Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're wanting to nail your morning routine in 2023, this video is for you. Welcome to the video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mia. And my name is Charlie, and we post weekly videos on all things mindset, personal development, and lifestyle. In today's video, we're gonna go over the most powerful morning routine, one that'll give you the most bang for your buck, and actually be realistic so you can stick to it. Now going into 2023, most people make great New Year's resolutions such as getting up early, eating healthy, exercising. However, most people don't stick to it and that's because they're waiting for their future self to action the goal and not their current self. It's so easy for someone to sit there on New Year's Eve planning all the good things future them is gonna do. Future me is gonna be disciplined, future me is gonna be motivated. But when it comes to current them in the moment, they fail to get up early, they fail to eat healthy, they fail to exercise and they ultimately fail at a lot of things they set out to do. And that's because they plan for future them to do it. Often unrealistic, the things they plan for themselves. So make it as easy as possible for future you to actually do the work and get the results you want. Yes, it's all about making it realistic, which then brings us into our point number one, which is make it work for you. Think about why you're wanting to create your morning routine. What is your end goal in mind? Are you wanting to be more productive, be healthier, or even become fitter? So what you need to do is have your eyes set on what that end goal is. And once you have your eyes set on that, make sure that you're creating one activity that's a non-negotiable that you set in your calendar every single day to help you move the needle forward. The reality is there's a million things you could be doing in your morning routine. But as soon as you've got that one non-negotiable set in, you know that if you complete that task, that morning is a win for you. For us, it's moving our body in nature first thing in the morning. There are so many benefits to this. So many benefits. The main one being it sets your circadian rhythm. So getting sunlight in your eyes first thing in the morning, your body has a natural body clock. So it releases certain chemicals when it's time to get up and time to go to sleep. So when you get sunlight in your eyes first thing, it sets your body clock saying that your body is awake. So you don't wake up feeling sluggish or lazy, you wake up energized. And this is the main thing with getting out in nature. Sunlight in your eyeballs, your body knows it's awake and it's time to go, rather than you feeling sluggish first thing in the morning. It also promotes blood flow in the body, so getting flexible and fit first thing in the morning, moving your body reduces stress for the day ahead, which is hugely important. Now before we get into the rest of our powerful morning routine techniques, one of the most important things is actually starting the night before. One of the main things is swapping these things for more of these things. This is so important because as we were speaking about earlier, your body's got a body clock so it knows what time it gets up and what time it goes to bed by producing different chemicals. And if you're looking at your phone late at night, it's tricking your brain to still think it's daylight. So it won't be producing the chemicals needed to fall asleep, so you're waking up refreshed the next day. And diving more into being more intentional the night before, it's so important to sit down and write your non-negotiables or your to-do list for the following day. That way you're not just setting yourself up for a great morning routine, you're actually setting yourself up for success throughout the rest of the next day. And if you do have a lot of mind chatter at night, it's great to write down all the thoughts that you're having. That way you're putting it out on a piece of paper and it's not keeping your mind cluttered for when you're trying to get to sleep. That way you're having a deeper sleep and waking up more rested the next day. Intentionality is everything. We spoke earlier about people relying on future them to do the work. Like people sit in New Year's Eve, writing out what they want to achieve, relying on future self to do the work. But when you can write down exactly what you want to get done tomorrow, the night before, it sets you up because you don't have to make the decision in the moment where often people choose the path of least resistance. When you intentionally set out what you want to do the next day, then you can follow a plan rather than make decisions of what you want to do. And one last thing for the night before is sitting down and reflecting on the day that you've just had and writing down your gratitudes. It's so important to do this because it's so easy to go day by day without reflecting on the days that you've had and the successes and the wins that you've had. It is now the next morning, you've nailed your evening routine, you've reflected on what went well yesterday, you haven't used your phone before bed and you've set intention for today. Now the main thing in the morning is moving your body and not checking socials or any notifications in the morning. This gets you in such a state of stress first thing in the morning. But if you can move your body and not check your phone, you don't become reliant on your phone every morning. And you can actually move forward with your day rather than being stuck on your screen. Mm -hmm. The next most important thing in the morning is hydration. So your body is around 50% water and vital organs like your brain and your liver are up to 80% water. So if you wake up and you're foggy headed and you're not too sure what you're doing for the day, it's so important to hydrate first thing because you wake up so dehydrated from sleeping. You've gone maybe eight hours without hydrating. So it's so important that you get this hydration in so you can think clearly and set intentions for the day ahead. Then on to our next tip is making your bed. So for us, that's just a non-negotiable. There's so many studies around making your bed and how that helps with such a productive day because you're starting a day off with a win. It only takes a few seconds to 
you make your bed every morning, especially if you are doing it every day and building that habit around it. So it's super important that you are making your bed and keeping your room clean, which is keeping your mind clean. 100% it's so important to make your bed in the morning, it builds that discipline, that habit and it feels like a win for the day because when you make it in the morning and then you get into bed at night, no matter how your day's gone, it feels like a win because you get into a made bed and you can feel accomplished that day and then you've done that in the morning. On to our next tip is having a big breakfast. Now breakfast is different for everyone, some people like to go without breakfast and fast or have a small portion for breakfast. For Charlie and I, we love having a big breakfast and having lots of good fats such as eggs, bacon and avocado. This helps us fuel our brain so we're focused for the rest of our workday. Speaking about the workday, set out a block where it's either two, three, four hours where you can do focused work. Three hours of focused work gets more done than nine hours of distracted work. So set out a time where you can be without distractions and get the most important things done. So just to recap this video, it starts the night before. A great morning routine starts the night before. So make sure you're setting intention for the next day, make sure you reflect on the day you've just had, and make sure you don't have phones before bed so you get a good night's sleep and you're energized for the next day. And then in the morning, same again, no checking phones, no notifications, no social media, and get out moving as soon as possible. And once you're out moving, hydration. Fuel your body with water, with good water, so your brain's hydrated, your body's hydrated, and you're energized for the day ahead. And not forgetting a great breakfast, time blocking so you can get focused work in, and dressing to impress yourself. If you really like this video, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the like button. Your support really helps support our channel. We're posting weekly videos on all things mindset, lifestyle, and personal development. Your support really helps the channel, so we'd love to see you in next week's video.